Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Rusty Mango Design. In this tutorial we'll learn how to create links on your page content with text and images. We'll also show you how to unlink things when you've finished with them. As you can see I'm already in the edit page screen and I have some dummy text in here with an image. To link up text to a URL or another place within your website, you simply have to insert the text or just select text that you've already got. I'm going to insert text for this first demonstration. So I'm going to click down here and I'll create a little text information link. So I've typed in, click here for more information and I highlight that. Then I come up to my icons and there's a chain link that says insert edit link. Click on it, you get a pop-up screen and I'm going to set this off to a website that everybody knows is going to go off to Google. So I type that in the URL box up the top and then I go to the blue button down the bottom and click add link. And there it is there, that is now a link that goes off to Google. Remember, if I want that to go live, I must go over to the right hand side and click on publish. I'm going to delete that link and show you another way of creating a link with content that you've already got. Just say this sentence here, I want to link that up to a page within my website. I go to the exact same button and click on it, insert edit link. But instead of using the top part of the screen, I'm going to use the bottom half. And there is a little uh, title here that says link to existing content. So I'm going to scroll down and we're going to link back to the home page. Where is it? Here it is here. Click on add link and you'll see that that text now has an underline to show that it is a link. It's actually changed colour too. And that will link to the front page of the website. So you use that trick to link to content that you've already created. URLs go off site. This one stays on site. I would like to link this image up to the dresses page on this website. To do that, almost the same process. You click on the image and you'll see that it gets highlighted and you have your little editing buttons across the top there. Same button again, insert edit link and same options. You can put in a URL to send it somewhere else on the internet or you can find the page within your site. Let's go with this one here and click add link. Now it won't change on your page. It won't get a border around it or an underline or anything like that, but it is now definitely a link. And once again, to make that live, you must click on publish. Removing links is very easy. It's the exact opposite of what we just did. We're going to click on the image and instead of going up here to insert edit link, we've got a button next to it, which is a broken chain that says remove link. So I click on that and that image is no longer a link. Now I can do that to this line over here as well. Remove link and you'll see that the underline has gone and it's changed back to its original color. Once again, make sure you click the big blue button over there to make it go to your live site. 